how's it going? I haven't posted for a while. Been a little busy. Haven't been doing much pulling lately, but uh, got a lot going on, so figured I'd hit record. Haven't picked up a video in a while, so. Uh, today I'm working on a Toyota Tundra. Had a uh, check engine light for EVAP canister. So I pulled the tank out, realized the EVAP bracket on this thing was uh, literally disintegrated. So, <clears throat> the hoses weren't connected no more on the EVAP canister, which was causing a leak, causing the check engine light. So the bracket here was pretty much non-existent. So I'm going to be making a new one. So I figured I pick the camera up and hit record. Let's see what happens. All right, so what I got here is some poster board. Going to start making a template before I start cutting some steel. And I started this little piece here. Used a ball peen hammer, and I hammered on top of the holes. And basically, what it does is it cuts the the poster board, and you're able to get the distance between the the bolt holes. Obviously, they're a little different, so I get front and I get rear. So you transfer that pattern over to your poster board. And I got a uh, rough shape that I want to cut. So I'm going to cut that. Put that in there, see how it looks, and adjust it, and cut it all up. And pretty much going to make my bracket out of poster board before I start cutting some steel. Alright, so we're under the truck. Got my post board. Kind of just bolted in there right now with the, uh, the original bolts. I'm going to have to get new ones. Those ones are pretty much rotted. So I got my poster board in place. Basically what I do is I got to make a bend to go up to those holes there because I need this to be down. I can't have it up to that bracket. It's going to be down because the EVAP canister is going to sit on top of this bracket. So it's going to be down a little bit. So in the end here, I'm just going to bend that up and make it connect to those two bolts there. Alright, so I got a second piece of poster board, and I trimmed it out, put it in place, put the holes in, I get the bends where I think I need it to be. You see, that's the other piece. So, now I got this, it's going to be a very basic rectangle, I'm not going to make any fancy bends or cuts, because it doesn't really need to, it's got plenty of room down here. So, I'm going to transfer this to some steel and start cutting. Alright, so I got my piece cut out. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to clean this up. Now I'm going to make some cuts in it so I can bend it easier. And then I'm going to drill some holes. Alright, so I got the, uh, the front holes are drilled out. And I was going to cut some grooves in it to, to bend it, but I'm thinking, because it's not a straight piece, it's going to probably have a little bit of uh, curves to it. I'm probably better off just cutting those ends off, and then I'll weld them back together in their position, then I can do a final shaping at the end. And I got my three pieces cut and drilled. Next I'm going to do is I'm going to get underneath there. And I gotta find the angle of this piece here and then the uh, the rear part. Tack those in place, pull it back out, do a finish weld on it, do any more shaping that I need to do. I'm gonna throw some paint on it, and we'll be good to go. Alright, so there's a bracket. Got it tacked for now. Got the shape we want and the angle. All we got left to do now is uh, throw some beads on there. Alright, so we get it all welded up. Ignore this little bit over here that's uh, the wind picked up on me. Yeah, very really good gas coverage in that one. But, for what it's going to do, it'll hold fine. There's a bracket painted, 
and installed, ready for the EVEP canister. Okay, so here's the final bracket. You got zip ties holding it for now, but we want to put a, uh, a U bolt going up and over. Probably use some all thread. Hold it in place. That's uh, not tonight because we're running out of daylight. But as the bracket, gas tank's back in. You can take it for a test drive, see if uh, everything's good. Make sure the gas tank's pumping fuel and whatnot still. And hopefully in a few days, check engine light will go away.